It's Halloween. Time to talk about something scary. You know what scares me? My economics grades. You know what scares me more? The fact that you guys haven't subscribed. However, you know what's actually scary right now? The fact that Bangladesh is currently under the water. So here's the situation. 75% of Bangladesh is situated below sea level, and 80% of Bangladesh is classified as floodplain, which means a simple monsoon could flood the land easily. According to New York Times, about 24 to 37% of Bangladesh was underwater during the 2020 monsoon season, and it looks like it's getting worse. These floods carry dirt into the failing sewage systems, which clog it up and lead to even bigger flooding problems. Furthermore, due to the rising sea levels, riverbank corrosion is rapidly increasing, only adding to the problem. However, the point of this video was not to talk about Bangladesh being under the water. It's actually about the water itself. You know what happens when you urinate and wash all your clothes and do all your business sub-bobs in the river? You get Mountain Dew. Unhygienic Mountain Dew. The water has like six gajillion different pathogens inside, and this water goes inside the tap system, so if you even try to drink that water, you're gonna get clapped faster than Max for stopping on the circuit. But you wanna know what else is in that water? Fertilizers. Since soil is losing nutrients due to the constant flooding, the farmers overdose the dirt in synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, which gets washed away by the rain, so the farmers OD the dirt more, and then it gets washed away by the rain, and the cycle continues, and boom, you got water that would put Gandhi's flip-flops to shame. This, in turn, causes eutrophication, which is basically when the fertilizer goes into the water Water and works a bit like bone meal from Minecraft in which it gives a massive buff to the growth of algae and other underwater plants. The algae covers the top of the water which prevents sunlight from reaching anything under the water. Why is this a problem? Well, plants need sunlight for photosynthesis, and no sun means no photosynthesis, so the only plant in the water would be algae. Additionally, decomposing algae can lead to oxygen deficiency in the water, which means no fish. TLDR, eutrophication is very bad for feng shui. I'm gonna keep this video short, there's more I want to talk about, but I'm not gonna talk about it uh, because I'm too lazy to edit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching, yes.